So you're thinking about moving to the suburbs of New York City, but you're not quite sure where you want to be yet. You're looking around. You want some place with really well-rated schools online and a really good commute. You might want to consider Cranford, New Jersey. We're standing in front of the old cinema house. Behind me, you also have the old post office. And if you look on the map, Cranford's right in the middle of Union County, smack dab in the middle. We're just east of Westfield and we're a little bit southeast of Mountainside, which is two towns that we've talked about on the channel before. Now, it was, in, it was incorporated in 1871, and it's just about 24,000 people here, just under 24,000. Uh, when you work out the density, I think it's about five square miles. So the density works out to be just under 5,000 per square mile. And like I said, it's got really well-rated schools, really good commute into the city. We're gonna talk about commute times a little later. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the schools. Um, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a tour of the downtown. This is the post office plaza. We're gonna go over and see a couple more areas along the train station that have really great coffee shops, restaurants. Um, just standing here, we've got a really new, brand new Thai place, uh, Eight Thai, which is just opening up. We've got Hilltop Bicycles, uh, drugstore, cake store, um, like I said, the cinema. Lots of sandwich shops in the area. You got Vinny's Pizza over here. Um, so lots of great stuff downtown for you to grab a bite to eat if you're coming from the train or if you're coming out for a night on the town. Um, this is Cranford, New Jersey. Let's get into the video and show you some more. Hey, if this is your first visit to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the midtown direct suburbs of New York City, then subscribe below and tap the notification bell so you can be the first to hear about the current market conditions here in New Jersey and New York. Hey, I'm Jeff, the team and I, we get calls every day from people just like you. We're thinking about moving to one of New York City's amazing suburbs. We love it. So whether you're moving in seven days or seven months, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email so we can help you make us easy, stress-free to the New York City area. So as I was saying at the beginning, we're here in Cranford, New Jersey. As you can see behind me, we're right down here, right in front of the train tracks by the clock tower. We've got track five coffee right behind me. Um, we've got the Breadsmith, uh, Barber Shop, uh, Milk Monkey, lots of cool shops and restaurants over here. There's also a really cool uh, macaroon store um, and little gift shops here and there. Now, Cranford uh, has, as I said at the beginning, really great school district, well rated on niche.com. Check it out over there. Now, those are not my opinion. That's uh, their opinion based on the data that they collect uh, from the area. And uh, if you look at that rating, I believe it's an A for Cranford. And the school district, that's the overall school district is an A. So in the school district, you've got six elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. When you go into the numbers, they actually rate it 48 out of the entire state of New Jersey on top of that A rating that they give it. So like I said, we're down here in the, in the downtown area and um, you've got the train tracks running through the middle of the city. And then on either side of the train track, you've got two boulevards that go east, west. And if you keep going west, you're gonna hit Westfield from here. Um, and on either side of the tracks, you've got lots of little shopping areas, uh, really cool stuff to check out. Uh, get a bite to eat. Uh, if you're coming to or from the train, you've got a, plenty of spots to get a cup of coffee and get on your way. If you're planning on commuting from Cranford into Manhattan Penn Station, you've got a lot of options in the morning, but if you need to get in before eight or right at eight to Penn Station, there's a really nice train at 714, that's 46 minutes. If you have a little bit more flexibility in your morning, there's an even faster train at 9.23 a.m. That's 43 minutes, but your average train time from Cranford to Penn Station is gonna be about 47 minutes to 50 minutes if you get those good trains. There are some slower trains that are 54 minutes to 59 minutes. Uh, so still under an hour, uh, similar to Westfield, which is one stop further away, um, but overall pretty good commute times into Penn Station. It's so one of the things that makes Cranford so unique is its um, geography. Like I said, it's right in the middle of Union County, but it's got the Rahway River running right down the middle and it sort of zigzags its way through. It starts at the top up by Echo Lake where we saw um, the mountainside and it comes across to the Lenape Park and right below that is Nobahegan Park and it just kind of keeps sweeping its way down and right here we're on a footbridge right in the middle of the river in the middle of town and at, every time it kind of makes a bend 
it creates another opportunity for a little park. So you've got six or seven of those. When you get down to the middle uh, near the train station, you've got um, a cool little park right off, I think it's Sperry Park, that has uh, the Crane Museum, the Crane Phillips Museum and House. And then if you go all the way down to the bottom, you've got Drocher's Mill, which is one of the historic mill buildings. I think today it's still being used as offices and so on. Um, but it just makes for this real unique um, geography throughout the city. A lot of the homes do abut the river, you can see here, right alongside. And because of that, you've got some cool recreation opportunities. There's actually a canoe club down the river here a little bit. Um, as you can tell, it is winter and it's a little chilly. That's why I'm uh, bundled up. But I wanted to get you guys tours and keep things moving on the channel. Um, but what I wanted to say was, as you can see, it's beautiful uh, now, but in the spring, it's gonna be even more amazing. And in the fall, it's gorgeous with the foliage on the street. You can, you can imagine some of the photos you could take with the reflections on the river and the fall foliage. So gorgeous stuff over here on the Rahway. And like I said, it kind of snakes its way through and you can get a lot of fun opportunities on the river. So let's jump over and talk about some real estate. So talking real estate here in Cranford, over the last 12 months, we've seen 222 sales close. Now, if you look at average days on the market, that worked out to be 26 days. And if you look at the average sold price, it was 621,000. Um, that's across all property types. Now, if you look by size, um, you've got a lot of one bedrooms because there are some condos in the town. So the one bedrooms average 260,000. The two bedrooms average 348,000. Three bedrooms averaged 570,000 and four bedrooms averaged 729,000. Five bedroom plus was just under a million, it was 955,000. The bulk of those sales was in the three to four bedroom range. So I also pulled up some recent sales that closed in the last 30 days in Cranford. Um, one that was really beautiful was 506 Springfield Avenue. It closed for $1.1 million. It was a brick colonial with six beds, three and a half baths. Uh, the next one I thought was interesting, this is below a million, was uh, 44 Princeton Road. It closed for 935,000. It was a four bed, three bath, and sort of an extended split level, you'll see in the photos. Um, and then the last one, to give you an idea of a sort of a smaller scale unit, um, 107 Beach Street. This will close for 619, and it's a Cape Cod style, three bed, two bath. I'm guessing there's probably a bedroom in the attic as well. But that gives you an idea of what's selling in the area. And if you're looking to get into it, definitely give us a call. We'd love to help you with your search. So if you jump on over to the other side of the tracks, we're now right off of South Avenue. There's another couple of shopping areas over here. We're standing in front of the Cranford Hotel, which has a great bar and restaurant. And um, we're, we're just on the other side of the train here. They actually just opened a nice new restaurant called the Vine and Oak Tavern, which is right on the corner over there. And you've got more pizza places, sandwich shops, salons, that kind of stuff. Down the street a little ways, you've got Ani Ramen, another location there, one of my favorites. And like I said, if you just go up South Avenue or North Avenue, those are gonna be your main thoroughfares that have lots of stuff going on. Now, I hope you enjoyed the tour. This has been a quick one today, but if you're really interested in getting to know the area, get in touch with us. We'd love to set up a private tour for you and get you uh, in a home of your dreams and hopefully on a really good commute. So, I'm Jeff. I hope you found that helpful and we'll see you in the next video.